the 2025 NFL Draft class feels very top-heavy in terms of edge rusher talent. There is a consensus top four, but after that, it seems everybody has a different player in the mix for that fifth and final edge rusher. While it is a very deep class, many of these players do have glaring weaknesses, but one of the most complete edge rushers in this draft class to me is Ole Miss edge rusher Princely Uman Mielin. A player who has some very interesting developmental upside as an edge rusher and a player who has dominated early on in the season for the Rebels, how high could we see him getting taken in the 2025 NFL Draft? That is what we will be going over in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon, where for $5 a month, you guys will get exclusive access to my draft guide, player evaluations, prospect interviews, and much, much more. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would be interested in seeing in a future video. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at Princely Uman Mielin. Princely started his collegiate career with the Florida Gators, where he spent four seasons, and he was very productive in Gainesville. His 2023 season was the best year of his career, where he finished the season with 45 total pressures, 7 sacks, and 28 total tackles. Many people thought he would be a day 2 pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, but he ultimately decided to enter the portal, where he joined Ole Miss. So far this season, he has been remarkable. He has 16 pressures, 2 sacks, and 6 tackles in just 4 games for the Rebels and has a 19.8% pass rush win rate. He has been one of the more productive edge rushers in the country and many people think his draft stock is rising. The biggest standout trait for me with Princely is his ability to go wide as an edge rusher. He has absolutely exceptional body control. He has a remarkable bend around the edge but he also has some really good footwork to pair with that. He plays incredibly balanced as a rusher, which I love to see from him. He's a very balanced and disciplined rusher as well. Princely also was a very versatile player. Florida had him play everywhere on the defensive line. He could play as a 4-3 edge, he could play as an outside linebacker, or a 3-4 defensive end, and he even took some snaps on the interior. He's a very versatile edge prospect, and I think you can find a role in almost any defensive scheme for him at the NFL level. He also has the size to be a versatile defender as well. He is 6'4", 255 pounds, and he has absolutely incredible lengths to go along with it as well. And he can slide in and play just about any position on the defensive line. Another thing Princely does well is defend against the run. He does an awesome job of crashing rushing lanes and making some plays in that department behind the line of scrimmage. He has 74 run stops off the edge in his collegiate career, which is something I love to see. As a pass rusher, there are tools to really like from Princely, but he is still a bit inconsistent. I think he shows some really good hands as a pass rusher, and he does a nice job of batting away offensive linemen and cutting inside or outside and changing course as a rusher. I really like that from him. He also showcases a really nice spin move as well, and he has a really nice quick first step off the line, but I really would like to see him convert that quickness into more power. He doesn't do an amazing job of converting speed to power, and in all honesty, I think his change of direction is lacking as well. He looks slow sometimes when he turns the corner against the offensive tackle, and I feel like he doesn't keep his foot on the gas, but the tools are certainly there. He has the athleticism and size to be an elite player, but there are a couple of things he needs to clean up as a pass rusher. It oftentimes feels like he is overly reliant on his athleticism, and I just want to see him build a better power profile and add some more pass rush moves to his repertoire. The other area I want to see Princely improve upon is his tackling consistency. He has a near 20% missed tackle rate over his collegiate career, which I would really like to see him improve upon. Princely Uman Mielin is a developmental edge prospect, and the tools are all there. He has quickness, he has some pass rush tools, but he has yet to really put it all together and turn it into a lot of consistency. That being said, he is a player who has gotten better each and every year of his collegiate career, and it's tough to say 
that the arrow couldn't be pointing anywhere but up because he's been absolutely fantastic early on in this year. I think I am a bit higher on Princely than the consensus, and he is my number 5 edge rusher in this draft class. I think he has a very high ceiling, and he is a really safe bet to me to be an impactful player due to his production and versatility. Now he will be 23 as a rookie, but it's not something I'm too worried about, and he's got a first round grade for me. In terms of a scheme fit, I think Princely may work best as a 3-4 scheme in a stand-up edge rusher position. He is a player who primarily plays with high pads as it is, and as an outside linebacker, he can get to flash more of that quickness, go wide, showcase that bend, and be a versatile chess piece for the defense. I think he's a perfect fit for a 3-4 scheme. In terms of a player comparison, I had a bit of a tough time with this one. I think Princely is a very versatile player with a lot of great tools, but he's very unique given his size and his athletic profile. The player I ultimately landed on was Seattle Seahawks edge rusher Boye Mafe. Both of them have really solid athleticism and are good pass rushers who play best as stand-up rushers. They also both do a really solid job at impacting the run game and defending there as well. And I think Princely has a very similar skill set to Mafe when he was coming out of Minnesota. Princely Uman Mielin has remarkable bend. He is a player who flashes good athleticism and pass rush upside, but he's yet to really piece it all together yet. I think he is a really solid prospect who is going to have a really nice NFL career, and ultimately, I believe that Princely Uman Mielin will be a top 50 pick in the 2025 NFL Draft.